The Love Island favorite was found dead in woodlands near his home in S yesterday, and tributes since poured in. Many of his co-stars have spoken on mental health after his death was announced, and urged fans to remember him as Mike Thalassitis rather than Muggy Mike. Mike Thalassitis previously spoke out about how people viewed him on the ITV series, and the unearthed interview saw him reveal how he felt after the show. He admitted he was baffled at how seriously people took his attitude on the show, and how quickly he was judged by viewers. As he revealed all to Now TV, he said, I think people take it too seriously and going oh I'm this vile person, because I'm not. I'm not a nasty person, I admit, I watched it back the other day and I cringed. I did watch it and of course I could have been more of a gent, at the end of the day I didn't fancy her and it's a TV show. He added. It seems like everyone is out to get you some of the time, people want to see you slip up constantly. Although he was given the nickname Muggy Mike after a row with Chris Hughes, it soon became an affectionate nickname. His fellow Islanders have been reaching out on Twitter and urging people to speak up about mental health since hearing about his death last night. The Metropolitan Police have since confirmed the news, they said, Police were called to a park near Laetime away, N9 at 0928 hours on Saturday, the 16th of March to reports of a man found hanged. Officers and the London Ambulance Service attended and found a man, aged in his 20s deceased. At this early stage, the death is not being treated as suspicious. Police are in the process of informing the man's next of kin. A file will be prepared for the coroner. Mike's co-stars have since urged Love Island to keep a closer eye on those who leave the show. They've called for more support, following the death of both Mike and Sophie Gradon in the last 12 months. For emotional support you can call the Samaritans 24-hour helpline on 116 123, email joe at samaritans.org, visit a Samaritans branch in person or go to the Samaritans website.